what do you think this lesson's about? Angles of elevation and depression. So because I don't have lined paper, I can have fun with how I write them to help us remember. So if I'm standing like this little guy here, I want to measure the angle of elevation. But if I was on top of a mountain looking down at my camp, that would be an angle of depression. But I've been talking about these, referring to them. This is a very practical application of trigonometry. The first time I saw this drawing was in my Boy Scout handbook many, many years ago. And there's a little picture of a man standing there. And we were trying to measure how tall the tree was. And because we didn't have a tape measure that would reach that high and we couldn't do it anyway, we were using some trigonometry to figure it out. So probably one of my buddies came along while I'm standing still, back when I was only five feet, and I'm standing still, and he put his head down on the ground and his eye in the dirt, and he looked up over until, probably had me walking, 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 until just over my head was the top of the tree. And then he's going to use that information. He said, stop. And then he get out his tape measure, and it was 11 feet from here to here. And he measured me, and I was five feet. Then he continued measuring from me to the tree, and it was another 30 feet. Get that all right? So if this was your final exam, and I just stopped right here, how would you figure that out? Based on what you know, how would you use this information to find out how tall that tree is? This would be fun. Now, see, if I had a whole class here with you, I wouldn't tell you. I'm going to have to tell you because I'm making videos. But if we didn't, this would be a really neat way to inductively attack. First thing I would do is make a drawing. I've been saying this for many years. When in doubt, draw, especially in trigonometry, geometry, which is a visual subject. So we have two triangles. We've got this one that is 11. Well, that doesn't look very accurate. And this is 5. So here's 5. That's feet. Then we've got another triangle that is, it's a similar triangle. You remember that word similar because it's the same triangle that just shrunk down. So if these are similar, how far is it from here to here? And this is where a lot of people mess up, so be careful on this one. 41, very good. Because it's not 30. 30 is only from here to here, but you had the 11 feet. So you really have two triangles on top of it. What we've done here is we've taken that. And all I've done is separate this into two separate ones. So we're looking for, we'll put T in for tree. Or you can use X, whatever you want. Maybe some of you use X, so we'll use X. But I'd pick something that made it fit. So I could, because these are right, I could use just what I know about ratios. I mean, I could just say, well, 5 is to 11 as X is to 41, right? because similar triangles. So short to long, short to long, I could figure that out. And by the way, once I found that, I could use Pythagorean theorem to find that one. But how can we do this using our newfound skills? What angle is this right here? Let's find this angle. How will we find this angle right here? Am I going to use sine, cosine, or tangent? Tangent, because I got opposite over adjacent. So I'm going to say tangent of this angle, which we don't even, we'll just call it E for elevation or something. So the tangent of this angle is 5 over 11, which if I punch that into my calculator, do 5 divided by 11 equals 0.4545 ad infinitum. We'll just leave it like that. Then, if I know this, then I can use the arc tangent or the angle whose tangent is 0.4545. And I punch now, I hit my second button, then I hit my arc tangent, and I get 24.44, rounded up to hundredths. So then this angle is 24.44 degrees. All right. Now let's solve the larger triangle. So again, tangent of x over, wait, wait, tangent of 24.44 degrees equals x over 41, right? And then I can multiply both sides by 41. 
So I click here. I'm going to put 24.44. Then I'm going to hit the tangent. And I get point, oh, I already know this, 0.4545 times 41. And 41 times 0 0.5 is 18.63 feet. Which kind of makes sense because this is like three and a half times this. Because four times that would be 44. And four times this would be 20, but it's a little bit less than four times. So 18.63, that works. Now we're still camping. We found out how tall the tree was, which was interesting information. We got our merit badge. So now... We're out camping, and we can tell by using a protractor that it's 12 degrees from our tent site, our campsite, to this mountain. Maybe we're lying down, and we have our protractor, and we see it's 12 degrees. And we can drive on our car, and we find out to the base of the mountain is 9.41 miles. How tall is the mountain? So which ratio are we going to choose? Tangent again. And the tangent of 12 degrees is x, or mountain, over 9.41. So we multiply 9.41 times this, and we get this. And so the tangent of 12 degrees, we punch in 12 degrees in our calculator, we get 0.2126 times 9.41. This is like one of those cooking shows, you know, where they have everything cooked, because I already got the answers in the book. You multiply this times this, and what you get is x equals 2 miles. So this mountain is 2 miles high. Now you're standing near a tall building. You're in downtown, and 